Hi guys, Cheryl Baby Doll here. It's um, pretty late, so I am talking sort of low, but I just wanted to read a quick uh, blog post that I wrote. It's, um, you can't work your business if you're minding someone else's. Okay, when someone says to mind your own business, how does that make you feel? Sometimes you may want to stick your nose in someone else's business and speak up in defense of another person when you feel they are being treated unjustly. You might feel as though you need to go through it, with it, go through with it, and that you have done your civil duty. But is it really something that should be addressed or just a knee-jerk reaction of what you thought was not right? Is telling someone to mind your own business wrong? It all depends on what is said, who says it, how it's said, and the way a person hearing it receives it. For instance, if there is a setting uh, with a small group of people discussing something about a business partner that may become a little offbeat and personal, someone in that group may tell them to mind your own business, okay, just to stop the conversation, okay? Or if you're reading a post on a social media platform that may cause you to want to jump in to the conversation that doesn't actually pertain to you, uh, that may cause a ripple or even a tidal wave. So uh, again, uh, you may want to just mind your own business, okay? Should you respond to a comment that isn't uh, any of my business. That's what I said. Should I respond to um, the comment that really isn't my business? Okay, have you ever been in a situation like that where someone writes a post on a social media network that made you want to run to the aid of a person? It may not have been anything rude or harmful, but maybe a little irritating to you but they may be asking the person that you know well, should you respond to this comment? Is it any of my business? That's what I thought as I was responding to the inquirer, uh, the uh, person who was inquiring. Briefly, this is just a gist of what was said. Someone was following a business leader online for a while, watching and learning and asked if they had made any money in the business. They were afraid to join, thinking it may be another one of those uh, network marketing scams or business scams on the internet that they were involved in so many times before. Haven't we all? Okay. So they were on the fence and wanted this leader to contact them. So here were my thoughts. This is what I typed out, okay? Ha ha ha, that is funny. You are just joking, right? I think you must be watching the wrong leader. If you don't know how well they are doing in this business, they just bought a $100,000 vehicle. Why? Because they can. And they have and are helping thousands of other people on the team and in the company make thousands and thousands of dollars. You are not the only one who is in this business who have been in junk so-called money-making scams or ventures. You are not the only one who was skeptical. We all had our revelations, um, not revelations, our reservations. <laughs> it's late, okay? And I'm just reading my post here so bear with me here but you know in order for you to get rid of that fear that is keeping you on the fence you're going to have to start making a move to climb down off of it what do you want in your life then get off that fence and move toward it what we have here is not what you are thinking and if you continue to think that way about this business or whatever endeavor you feel that you should be in, you will lose out. If you are just watching 
you are also not truly learning this business. If you are not actually a member in the business, watching and learning from the inside, it's very hard to say something is not the real deal if you haven't taken the time to actually work the business and get results. How long is this fear going to keep you from having success in business that you really desire? Okay, that's what I posted. Uh, actually, I just put it in my blog. I didn't actually post it. I wrote something else and I just left it alone. But just uh, reading that, it gave me the idea or it just prompted something in me to write this. You can't work your business if you're minding someone else's. You know, just um, sometimes the simple things you may realize throughout the day, course of the day may have a huge impact on a person's life. So, um, enjoy sharing your thoughts with other, other people. And, um, you know, if you have a desire in your heart that you want to uh, do something that will change someone else's life, don't be afraid. Just go for it. Okay, we all have something on the inside of us that will help many people. We are here to change lives and to help people. So whatever uh, desire you have in your heart, don't be afraid. Don't sit on the fence and hold back. You have so much to share. Just share it, okay? And here in Empower Network, we are here to help you succeed, help you grow as a person, and get rid of that fear. Okay, so uh, just go ahead and click that link below, and I will see you on the inside. Cheryl Baby Doll out, and you have a good night. Bye for now.